21 lawsuits now filed against Deshaun Watson. Two more today. Here's the key, though. This statement appeared in my email box this afternoon, and I was stunned when I opened it up, and I saw not just that 18 massage therapists have supported Deshaun Watson, but that each one attached a name. And with each name, there was a quote regarding her experiences with Deshaun Watson. Some of the massage therapists, I thought, went a little, a little too far for my liking into editorializing about the veracity of the other complaints. Just because one massage therapist wasn't assaulted by Deshaun Watson doesn't mean that none ever were, Shireen. But you know, the other reality, and 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 there were two big takeaways. One, if you can round up 18 massage therapists and get statements with their names attached to them. How can you act like you have no idea who the 21 people who sued you are, which Rusty Harden has said multiple times? And then secondly, when you throw in Mary, the individual who spoke to Jenny Ventus of SI.com, different name, but, but Mary is how she's known in the story. One plus 21 plus 18 is 40. I, I, and, and I've seen that reaction, including from former NFL lineman Jermon Bushrod, said, I played 12 years. I, didn't, I never had half that many therapists during my entire career. 40 massage therapists in a fairly limited time frame is causing a lot of people to say, this is just off. So, yeah, look, I know what Rusty Harden is trying to do, but I feel like every time he makes a statement, there's something in there that in a roundabout way undermines his, his bigger picture objective. It, it's troubling to me, Mike, the 40. I, I, that's my big takeaway from this is how, why, how often are you getting a massage to have 40? Because a lot of them said in those statements multiple times, right? So how often is he getting massages? Why are they all women? I mean, m most NFL players, as I said before, get massages and they get them frequently. I get it. I, I, I understand the need for it. Hey, I've, I've had massages too before COVID. Love it. It's a great experience. I went to the same one almost all the time. Most guys have one massage therapist, maybe two that they use, but they employ these people. Like Emmett Smith, went, I know, went and got multiple massages from the same person all the time. He had a person on call who, who showed up and, and did his massages. And most of the time, frankly, Mike, they're male masseuses who do these things for NFL players. And these were all women. Now, maybe he also went to some men, which adds to the total of massage therapists that he's used over the years. So that's my trouble with this. And then you're right. The, the first woman that Rusty Harden has quoted in the story talks about, oh, I giggled when I saw that, that Deshaun requested a towel, had a towel. I taught him to do that, to use the towel instead of the towel. All right, you just said that you proved part of her statement that he used a towel, right? So, and then she went on to say, as you have pointed out, to say that I can't believe that Deshaun would do this. That I just don't think they're being truthful. Well, just because you and I go into a restaurant and have different experiences doesn't mean our experiences weren't true. You might have had great service and a great meal, and I might have had crappy service and a crappy meal. That doesn't mean either one of us were, was lying. We just had different different experiences in this same restaurant, Mike. So. There are so many questions with this thing. I don't know how this is going to end, but there are a lot of questions I have, starting with why so many massage therapists and why use Instagram for massage therapists. And it's entirely possible all 40 of the massage therapists who are now involved in this case, the 18 whose names we know, the 22 whose names we don't, Absolutely. entirely possible they're all telling the truth. That 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 is one possible Absolutely. way to explain this. And I, I believe, Shireen, because last week, if you remember, Rusty Harden's statement said that they have received unsolicited statements of support for Deshaun Watson from multiple massage therapists. And my reaction to that was, well, how can you say you need to tell us the names of the people who are suing and you're not going to supply the names of the people who support him? And lo and behold, that's what they did today. Did that. I think that when it's time for Deshaun Watson to start responding to these complaints, the first line of defense very well may be some effort to either dismiss the cases as pleaded or seek a more definite statement, all in an effort to shine a light on the fact that you've got 19 plaintiffs 
none of whom will attach a name to it, none of whom can be objectively identified or verified by anyone other than Watson to the extent he kept any records that could be reconstructed. But I think back to the Antonio Brown case still pending sexual assault and rape. He's he's accused of rape. Brittany Taylor's name has been attached to the lawsuit from day one. Ben Roethlisberger was accused of rape in a civil complaint that was filed in November of 2009, the first step toward what eventually was his four-game suspension in 2010. The individual attached her name to that civil claim for rape. I'm not saying you have to do it. It just gets to a point where when you have 19 and they're all represented by the same guy, and they're all proceeding anonymously. Like, is, is it possible that one of the 19 is fine with her name being disclosed, but she's been pressured by Tony Buzz because they want to have this grand united front of 19 Jane Doe plaintiffs just to make it harder for Deshaun Watson and Rusty Harden to know what the hell's going on? I just, that, that's my concern, especially when I see statements like the one I saw last night from Tony Busby. The explanation out of the blue on social media as to why he had not made good on his promise to submit evidence to the Houston Police Department for a potential criminal prosecution. And, and this idea that he didn't do it because he ran for mayor and he was critical of the former police chief when he ran for mayor, even though Art Acevedo is no longer the police chief in Houston. And Rusty Harden's got a son or some other relative that works for the Houston police. I Look, I, I, conspiracy, Mike, can be in full effect any given moment. I can be as cynical as anyone, and there are reasons to be cynical about the things people say. But the idea that the Houston Police Department would not take seriously the complaints made by 19 individuals, now 21 individuals, because somebody's got a problem with the lawyer who represents them, I, I, I think that's ridiculous. Look, I got concerns about Tony Busby. And his tactics, but I, I still am going to give his 21 clients the full benefit of the doubt and see what their stories are. It's possible all 21 are telling the truth, and Tony Busby is just doing things I don't like. So I, 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 I was, I that was just one of those when I saw that last night. I thought, what in the hell is this? And if I was a family member of one of these 19 individuals who was suing, I'd say fire Tony Busby and go hire somebody else because this guy's getting in the way of your opportunity to get full and complete justice. Yeah, at this point, Mike, and as you've pointed out over the last couple of weeks, if if you're married in that story and decide to sue, you should go see somebody else other than Tony Busby. I think it would serve you well to, to go get a different old lawyer. But yeah, it, it makes no sense that you wouldn't take this to the Houston Police Department. Um, they're going to investigate, right? That's what they do. And whether they have Rusty Harden has a son, a relative, or whatever within the police department, I still believe that the Houston Police Department would investigate. If you have evidence here, they're going to look into this. They're going to talk to these women uh, that, that have accused Deshaun Watson of what they've accused him of. So, yeah, I didn't understand that at all. I still don't get it. And I would look forward to hearing from the Houston Police Department and where they stand on this. And, and why do you want to agitate gratuitously if you're Tony Busby yeah. and you're trying to get justice? And I, I don't know how Rusty Harden and Deshaun Watson are looking at this, but court of public opinion, Tony Busby had a huge lead based upon the first week or so. Over the course of the past couple of days, Rusty Harden, Deshaun Watson, thanks to Busby's bizarre comment from last night and the 18 individuals who are on the record They've made up some ground, but at the at the core, and I see this reaction more than anything else on social media, why do you have 40 different people in a year or so yeah. time frame who are giving you these massages? And uh, if and when Deshaun Watson is ever under oath in one of these cases, that's one of the questions he will be asked. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.